Okay, here we have November 2018. This is question number eight. Five cubic decimeters of nitric acid with a concentration of 0.75 moles per cubic decimeter is spilled accidentally in a small pond of water. The acid in water has a total volume of 1,000 cubic decimeters. To neutralize the acid, cal calcium hydroxide is added to the water. So two nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide goes to calcium nitrate plus water. To find the term concentration, here it is out the exam guidelines. Concentration is the amount of solute per liter of solution. Calculate the concentration of the acid after it was spilt in the pond. Okay, so now this calculation can be done two ways. You can first go and find out exactly how many moles are in the initial amount. And then you say, okay, that number of moles is now in the new diluted amount and find the concentration. So the marks are the same either way. I checked the uh, formula sheet. There's no formula for this, but you know that this is basically a dilution question, okay? And so dilution questions, you can go C1, V1 equals C2, V2. And now remember these calculations. Um, you can use any kind of, of unit, so long as the unit's the same on the left and the right. So it's one of the advantages of this. And so basically this whole calculation is based on the fact that the number of moles doesn't, um, stay, uh, doesn't change. So remember I, I gave you an example about, for instance, if you've got a cup of Oros and you get an empty glass and you pour a little bit of Oros in the bottom of the container and then you fill the glass halfway up and you drink it. You've only drunk the amount of Oros you pulled in the, put in the glass if you look worried about your sugar consumption. But if you have that amount of Oros in the glass and you fill it all the way up to the top and you drink it, your Oros doesn't taste as sweet, but at the end of the day, you've consumed exactly the same amount of Oros, whether you fill the glass half with water or you fill the glass full with water. The number of moles of Oros that you poured in the glass in the beginning is how much you consume, whether or not you've uh, put a lot of water in or not. So that's what this calculation is based on, that the number of moles of nitric acid that you spilt in the pond is the same amount at the beginning and at the end with the two different volumes. So I like using this formula. It's nice and easy. So the concentration initially was 0 0.75. Okay. And the volume initially was 5 cubic decimeters. Okay, and this is going to be equal to my second concentration multiplied by what was the volume, the new volume of the pond? The new volume of the pond was a thousand. So by the joy of algebra, we can work out that this is going to be 0 0.75 times 5 divided by a thousand which is going to give me on your calculator 3.75 times 10 to the negative 3 and make sure you put your units what units is concentration measured in it is measured in moles per cubic decimeter okay so there is my concentration of the acid after it was spilt into the pond so remember this is all based on the fact that the number of moles never changed. And you'll get the same number of marks if you go C equals N over V, N equals CV, and get the final answer out. Now it says, use calculations to determine if 120 grams of calcium hydroxide will be sufficient to react completely with all the acid in the pond. I have to tell you there's a lot of ways that are all... Um, chemically and mathematically sound to solve this. I saw there in the memo that there's three options in the memo. I don't know which option I'm doing here, but so long as you can back everything up with your mole ratios and your calculations, you should be fine, okay? So let's have a look over here. The first thing we need to do is if we want to um, determine if it's enough calcium hydroxide, you can either take two approaches. You can either say, okay, I had this much acid how much calcium hydroxide 
do I need and work out the total mass of calcium hydroxide and compare it to, the, to this mass that you put in. Or you can say, okay, how much acid did I add? How many moles of calcium hydroxide will that be equal to? Is this how many moles there are in 120 grams? Either way, you're going to have to somewhere find out how much calcium hydroxide you've, um, you've added in grams. So for that, we're going to need the relative molecular mass of calcium hydroxide. Okay, so let's do this question. Before we can do anything at the end of the day, we need to know how many moles of acid we added so that we can um, work out the mole ratio from it. So we can figure out how many moles of acid we added from the initial question. And now it doesn't matter if you use the initial volume or the final volume, the dilute or the concentrated, because remember what I said to you here, Regardless of whether it's dilute or concentrated, there's the same number of moles. So we're going to use N equals CV for the nitric acid. Okay, and I'm just going to use the first one there. And it's 0, 0,75, that was the concentrated, times 5 cubic decimeters. So the number of moles of nitric acid, where's your calculator? Uh... Where's my calculator? 3,75 moles, okay? So we made 3,75 moles of nitric acid. That was what was put into the pond. So now the mole ratio of nitric acid to calcium hydroxide. What is the mole ratio here from the balanced equation? It's two nitric acid to one calcium hydroxide, okay? So that means this is 3,75. So this is going to be 3,75 divided by two, which is, which is 1,875 moles. Okay, so now we can pick. We can figure out how many moles are here and see if it is as much as that. Or we could turn this into a mass and see if the mass is the same. Either way, we're going to have to do some kind of a mass calculation. So what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to see how many moles there are in 120 grams of calcium hydroxide. Okay, so the number of moles of calcium hydroxide... Okay, is equal to M over, over M. Okay, so the number of moles of calcium hydroxide is going to be 120, which is, look here in the questions, I've got it from here, and divided by 74, because remember I worked it out earlier. So the number of moles of calcium hydroxide is 120 divided by 74, 1,62. Okay, and then from what we knew of the nitric acid, we needed 1,875. So 1,875 is greater than 1,62. So there is not sufficient calcium hydroxide to neutralize the acid. So there we go. We are finished another question here.